Earlier today, Treyarch gave us a bunch of exciting new details for Black Ops Cold War's Season 2 update. Next week, we're going to be getting a bunch of different stuff, most notably the Outbreak Zombies game mode. I have a ton of information to go through here, and also some important details on downloading this new Season 2 update early. There are new download times, new release times, so we will go through that information as well. I just want to let you guys know, I'm giving away Season 2 Battle Passes over on my Twitter. The link is down below in the description. All you have to do is RT, like that tweet, follow me on Twitter, and tag three friends in the replies of that tweet. If we can go for 500 likes on the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you're new for more Black Ops Cold War content. Before we get into anything, let's go through very quickly what is live in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone right now. New multiplayer playlist, throwback mosh pit, snipers only mosh pit, and gunfight blueprints. And now live in Warzone, we have Verdansk Plunder, Blood Money Quads, and on Rebirth Island, Mini royale trios and resurgence quads now let's go through the download release time information first so they say for season two black ops cold war will receive a rolling update on february 23rd which is tuesday scheduled between 9 p.m and 11 p.m pacific time and warzone will receive a rolling update on february 24th wednesday between 9 p.m and 11 p.m pacific time so here are the times in which the first update for season two will be available for a download this is an early update season two will not be playable at these times but it will be available to download and then they go on to say season two black ops cold war and warzone content is expected to be available between 9 p.m and 11 p.m pacific time on february 24th the next day and here are the times in which you'll be able to actually play the new season two content so pretty much here for black ops cold war users you're gonna download this update a whole day before season two actually releases and season two will be releasing late wednesday night late february 24th into early thursday morning february 25th so very big information here if you're just playing black ops cold war you get to download the update a whole day early tuesday night wednesday morning but if you're just playing on warzone you have to wait for the normal times wednesday night early thursday morning if you guys have any questions on when you'll be able to download and play black ops cold war and warzone season two leave those questions down below in the comment section let's get into all of the content here there is a ton of good stuff and especially what we're seeing with outbreak we have the tier four and tier five upgrades for zombies we have frenzied guard a new field upgrade so much cool stuff here i do want to talk about a bunch of the other season two content first so we have warzone a dark wave approaches verdansk new multiplayer maps apocalypse 6v6 globa multi-team uh we have mansion a gunfight map new warzone modes resurgence extreme exfiltration new score streak the death machine new multiplayer modes gun game and stockpile new zombies experience obviously we'll talk about in depth later on in this video video outbreak a black ops cold war war zone zombies outbreak challenge event which lasts from february 25th to march 11th new operators naga samantha maxis revis and wolf new weapons the Farah 83 the lc 10 smg the machete the e tool the r1 shadow hunter crossbow the zrg 20 millimeter sniper new reactive blueprints and a battle pass with a bunch of cool content there but let's get into the outbreak information because really this season seems to be all about outbreak outbreak really seems like it is the main part of this new season i do think warzone will start to get a bunch of huge updates very soon we do have new verdansk points of interest and we also have a new you know event coming soon so let's talk about that for a second because warzone is going to get very interesting towards i think the end of season two early season three last sighted off the coast of rebirth island recent intel suggests that a cargo tanker has gone missing at sea however recent visuals have identified a vessel matching the description heading towards the port of verdansk operators within the vicinity are recommended to exercise extreme caution as the ship is carrying unknown cargo and its crew are not able to be contacted so something will be occurring here in warzone something's gonna happen some type of warzone event is gonna happen with this ship off warzone we also have Treyarch teasing a future nuke event in warzone most likely they say meanwhile within verdansk something major is beginning to rumble deep under ground which definitely seems like some type of explosion is about to happen some type of nuke event something is going to happen here so again i don't think all of this is going to happen in season two 
I think for now they're gonna focus on Outbreak. This Outbreak Zombies event lasts until March 11th, and maybe after March 11th, they'll switch gears over from Outbreak into Warzone, and March 11th is actually kind of around the exact one-year anniversary of Warzone releasing, so that would be a very interesting time to start teasing the new event, the new nuke event in Warzone. Uh, the ship will definitely have something to do with this here, and I do think this new Warzone map will be added to the game by the end of Season 2 or at latest the beginning of Season 3, so definitely stay tuned for that. Super, super excited to see what we get there. Now let's talk about a bunch of new information Treyarch revealed to us regarding the Outbreak Zombies game mode. So Requiem has fallen behind in the arms race against against Omega, various regions in the Ural Mountains area have become Dark Ether Outbreak sites, which is obviously all of the Fireteam map locations all take place in the Ural Mountains. It's up to you and three fellow agents, confirming only four players here, to complete the deadly experiments that few have survived. So clearly here, it's not some type of Warzone player versus player versus zombie situation. It's you three other people going in there and fighting zombies, completing challenges. They say you can hunt down elite enemies using a satellite tracker. You can escort a rover that detects dimensional portals. You can hold out against zombies in a confined dark ether zone. And you'll have to complete these investigations before you're able to exfil or if you don't want to exfil, you can take the risky route and you can go into a Dark Aether teleporter that will bring you to a new region where you'll be able to get even more rewards in the game. And they also say, in the coming days, expect more information on this large-scale zombies experience from Treyarch as well as several guides breaking down Outbreak from the basics to tips on specific objectives. So today isn't the end. The next couple of days, the next week, we will be getting so much new content, new gameplay, new breakdowns breakdowns from Treyarch regarding this Outbreak Zombies game mode. So definitely stay tuned for that. A lot of good information in the next couple of days. Can't wait to see more on this Outbreak mode. Some more information here. Huge, huge news. I didn't think we would get this this early. You guys, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been talking about this for several months now. I knew they would add the Tier 4 and the Tier 5 upgrades. I've been talking about this since September. Since they first revealed Black Ops Cold War, I was saying there's no way there's only going to be three tiers. They had five five tiers in the files of the game and they're probably going to add it as future DLC and that's exactly what they're doing here two new skill tiers with the help of two new ethereum crystals refined and flawless ethereum crystals which we also talked about from the leagues back in September agents of requiem will be able to upgrade all skills to tier 4 and tier 5 five super super exciting man all of these perks will now have new abilities we'll have jug tier five speed cola tier five so excited to see what these tiers are going to bring to us there were some leaks recently that phd flopper is actually the tier five ability of the juggernaug perk now if that's actually real and that's actually what we get in the game that is super super cool but that also means that we're not going to get a standalone phd flopper perk and it's gonna be cool to see well what is the other perk that they're planning on adding to the game and we'll talk about that in a future video we also have frenzied guard which we also talked about a leaked field upgrade coming in season two we have a description upon activation all enemies will immediately target the frenzied guard user for a brief period during which time only armor will take damage this can be a game changer when fellow operators are surrounded by the undead masses and they will turn their attention away from those in peril and towards the armored savior use ethereum crystals to upgrade frenzied guard with powerful modifiers such as having it repair all armor upon activation increasing its duration to 15 seconds and even slowing all normal enemies to walk speed while while it's active so again so excited to see this here in the game we also have a new ammo mod called shatter blast which kind of seems similar to blast furnace from black ops 3 zombies the pack punch machine an elemental pop will now include the shatter blast ammo mod which makes all bullets deal explosive damage each bullet also has a chance to explode dealing additional explosive damage and destroying any impacted armor they also go on to say intended to help destroy heavy zombies this fantastic mod comes with plenty of explosive upgrades through the skills menu including having all explosives deal damage to the nearby enemies knock down normal enemies or 
double the size for an even bigger bang. I'm very interested to see if we're going to continue to get new field upgrades and new ammo mods added to the game. I wonder how many new ammo mods and field upgrades we're going to get by the end of Black Ops Cold War. Is it going to be two? Are we going to get four new ones? We really don't know the extent as to how much content Treyarch is really going to bring us, but so far, it's looking really, really cool. The Death Machine is also finally returning to zombies. As of Season 2, the Death Machine will also be added into zombies as an additional support weapon in Outbreak, Firebase Z, and D Machina. Super excited to see that there. It's not a power-up like in the old days, unfortunately, but you can get it from the crafting table. We also have a new zombie vehicle in Outbreak and a new light truck in this mode as well. And I'd assume they'd continue to add new vehicles, new elements to Outbreak. I don't think Outbreak is going to be a limited time mode. I feel like they put too much effort, they put too much into this Outbreak mode, too much marketing to just give it to us and get rid of it by the end of season two. I really think they want this to be kind of the war zone of zombies, a huge open world zombies experience, maybe eventually making Outbreak free to play, which would be insane to see, but that's definitely, you know, thinking too big. You know, let's just get this for now. Let's enjoy this update. Again, it's releasing next week in exactly one week. I will be streaming right when this update comes out. We're going to have so much fun. I mean, I just can't wait to play this. It's something new. It's something different. It's something interesting. And I just can't wait to see, you know, what Shrek's really going to bring us here because I don't think they revealed everything in this new update. I mean, we got some sneak peeks. The Panzer's in the outbreak mode as well. Probably other zombie bosses from the past. Probably other, you know, different characters that we don't know about yet. The Easter eggs and outbreak. It's just going to be so cool. So really can't wait to play Black Ops Cold War Season 2. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Zombies, if you watched the entire video, it is greatly appreciated. And shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.